reservation ticket counter lady is a very special friend of mine. But I asked her in the morning if my flight was ready, she assured me it was right on time. Oh, the taxi to the airport cost me seven or eight, and the porter got another buck or two. When some joker on the microphone said, sorry, but we've got a little bad news for you. Getting cloudy up in Boston, Montreal is socked and tight. Washington is closed for Christmas, Philadelphia's out on strike. Minnesota's up to here in snow, Tulsa's closed tonight, you know. Please be patient, five more minutes, hope you have a pleasant flight. Oh, the airline passenger relations representative was very sympathetic to me. Soon as we completely overhaul your astroliner, you'll be airborne just as quick as can be. Then of course we'll need a stewardess, but never you mind. We'll have one trained in plenty of time. Won't you settle in our astro lounge in comfort? We'll be leaving at a quarter to nine. But the astro lounge was crowded and the coffee shop was crammed. The Coke machine was broken and they closed the hot dog stand. I couldn't find a magazine, they broke the cigarette machine. The shoeshine boy was sleeping and my radio was jammed. Oh, I carefully examined every corner of the building for the next 14 hours or so. And the bulletins kept coming from the reservation counter. Yes, sir, we were getting ready to go, for we're flying in another plane from London, you see, any minute now that plane should appear, you'll be leaving in a minute, providing this little bit of nasty weather should clear, for it's cloudy up in Boston and it's snowing up in Maine, Los Angeles is hopeless and Chicago's getting rain, you've had a couple dirty days, but your ticket's good for and when the runway is completed, would you like to board your plane? 